The Tesla team is are making uh, great progress uh, in one year building a couple of machines, you know, from scratch. You know, that's remarkable. It's, it's going to be very cool. You definitely you'll want to invite your friends over and say, check us out. The Tesla team has been making steady progress, managing within a single year to build several machines almost entirely from scratch. That alone is impressive and shows the pace they are working at. It is the kind of achievement that makes you want to gather friends and proudly say. Look at this. Reports now confirm that Tesla's affordable Model 2 has officially rolled off the production line in Texas. At the same time, insiders indicate that Tesla is preparing to ramp up production in Europe, with Asia being next on the expansion path. But even more notable, a pair of brand new Tesla Model 2 prototypes are already undergoing secret testing in Texas, and at least one unit has been seen in Fremont. These test cars are actively collecting performance data that will shape Tesla's highly anticipated launch program scheduled for this November. The first looks at these prototypes have surprised almost everyone, both with their design and performance. Some Tesla fans argue that it might not justify a price near $16,000, while others think it makes perfect sense as a starting model. The big question remains. Will the Tesla Model 2 maintain its expected quality at around $15,990? Is this really a groundbreaking leap forward or simply a scaled-down version of Tesla's existing cars? Stay tuned and decide for yourself. In just a moment you will see footage of the Model 2 undergoing testing, and you will join more than 2,000 Tesla followers here on Torque Element who receive updates before major news outlets do. Don't forget to subscribe now. To be fair, while the idea of a budget Tesla is exciting, the truth is the company has so far been very secretive about the Model 2, also referred to as Model Q. There is no solid commitment, and Tesla has never been completely transparent about this project, leaving much of the discussion to speculation. That's why when word broke that the Model 2 was already being tested in both Texas and Fremont, and that it had supposedly launched, the reaction was one of genuine surprise. Right now, Tesla is entering perhaps the most intense chapter of its history. Rival automaker BYD has been selling budget-friendly electric cars priced under $10,000, quickly attracting hundreds of thousands of customers worldwide. Meanwhile, Tesla has been dealing with falling revenues for the past two years. This is why introducing a truly affordable Tesla has never been more important, and it is the very strategy Elon Musk is preparing to follow. The Model 2 is seen as a potential lifeline for one simple reason. Millions of people could realistically afford it. In the past, Tesla was best recognized for luxury electric cars, most often costing between $50,000 and $100,000. But the market has shifted. Buyers now lean heavily toward affordable electric vehicles. That is why Tesla's more modestly priced Model 3 and Model Y have consistently topped global EV sales charts. Still, consumers are moving toward even cheaper cars, many offered under $30,000. Unfortunately, the Model 3 and Model Y cannot quite reach that low price bracket, which has played a major part in Tesla's recent sales decline. In our opinion, while the Model 2 may not carry the premium styling or advanced features of the Model Y or Model 3, that is entirely understandable given its entry price of only about $15,990. The most exciting part is that we won't be waiting until the year 2026. Instead, this car is set to be unveiled at the end of November this year, during Tesla's biggest event of 2025. Its design may not turn every head, but for the price point, it is well above expectations. Tesla is planning two versions of this compact car out of Giga Texas, with an expected driving range of just over 300 miles. That range will be one of the most anticipated features at launch. Tesla's goal is to produce the Model 2 at Giga Texas with a weekly capacity of up to 10,000 units, sharing the line with the Model Y. This effectively makes it a smaller sibling to the Model Y, with the Gigapress machine playing a key role in scaling production. Tesla and Elon Musk have already confirmed much of this information. At the company's global headquarters in Austin, Texas, the production of the Model 2 officially started in September 2025, inside a facility spanning 10 million square feet and fitted with three powerful Gigapress machines, each able to generate 50,000 tons of pressure. And this revolution is not limited to America. 
Tesla's worldwide Gigafactory network is running at full tilt to support the Model 2 launch. In Shanghai, the factory will expand by over 1,200,000 square feet in January 2026, with capacity to build 300,000 Model 2s for Asia. About 40% of those will head toward India and Southeast Asia. Meanwhile in Nevada, Tesla is producing its next-generation aluminum-ion batteries in a massive new plant focused on 4680 cell technology, boosting output by more than one-third. This facility alone could supply upwards of 2 million battery packs every year. Over in Berlin, Tesla is preparing to ship 150,000 Model 2s to Europe by the final quarter of 2026. Even Latin America is on Tesla's radar, with a plant under construction in Monterrey, Mexico, that aims to produce 100,000 Model 2s in 2027. Altogether, Tesla's network is targeting 1.5 million Model 2s produced annually by 2028. According to employees, the Model 2 will not be a hatchback, but instead a compact crossover with a minimalist look still clearly aligned with Tesla's design language. About 20% smaller than the Model 3, it is centered on simplicity in order to maintain its affordable $15,990 base price. Expect light bars, slim wheels, and styling cues similar to the Model 3, though without exotic features like the Falcon Wing doors. Instead, it will carry a straightforward four-door layout that balances practicality with Tesla's modern identity. The interior of the Model 2 is expected to strike a balance as well, providing space for five while controlling costs. It will not match the luxury of larger Teslas, but it will meet everyday needs. Interior materials will likely follow a minimalistic approach, leaning on more common finishes. The steering wheel may feel simpler, the seats might lack ventilation, and the central display may be about 12 inches instead of the 15-inch screen seen in other models. Even so, these decisions are practical, not flaws, they are about making the car affordable for the average driver. Luxury items such as rear entertainment screens, premium ambient lighting, or abundant physical controls are unlikely. Tesla will instead continue pushing software-based solutions for most functions, enabling over-the-air updates. Still, standout innovations remain. The use of a 48-volt low-voltage system is one example that should give the Model 2 a technological advantage. When it comes to performance, Tesla's battery developments are essential. The Model 2 is expected to use next-generation aluminum-ion batteries, a technology with higher energy density and lower weight than traditional lithium packs. Reports suggest Tesla is testing packs between 50 and 55 kilowatt-hours, giving the standard version a range of about 250 miles on a single charge. Aluminum-ion batteries offer many benefits. They are lighter, potentially safer, environmentally friendlier, and charge much faster. Early testing indicates they could reach 80% charge in about 10 minutes, though in real-world use it might be closer to 15 minutes. Even a 20-minute charge for a car in the $25,000 range would be outstanding. Because the battery is such a large portion of an EV's cost, using aluminum-ion technology could be the crucial factor in keeping the Model 2 within reach of millions of buyers. This strategic use of domestic production further strengthens Tesla's position by limiting reliance on imports. If the company achieves its cost targets, the Model 2 could truly be the first affordable EV to break through on a global scale. Chinese competitors already manufacture cars at drastically lower costs, and their entry into global markets has made the competition fierce. Whether Tesla can meet its goal and bring the Model 2 to market before being overtaken is still uncertain. The Model 2's affordability comes not only from battery technology but also from advanced production methods like the Gigapress. These machines allow Tesla to cast major sections of the car in single pieces, replacing what used to be dozens of welded parts. The efficiency gained here is massive, lowering costs, improving strength and saving space. For a small vehicle like the Model 2, this approach is even more effective. Most Tesla models have multiple versions such as standard, long range, and performance. The Model 2 may stick to two versions, but affordability and practicality will be its true selling points. Tesla's plan is to eventually cast the entire chassis as one piece, a feat no other automaker has achieved. 
This is why Elon Musk has invested in the colossal 50,000 ton gigapress. The process involves melting aluminum alloy at very high heat, pouring it into molds, and using immense pressure to shape it without flaws. With carefully managed cooling, the result is lightweight yet extremely durable components. This innovation is central to why Tesla believes it can deliver a truly low-cost car without sacrificing quality. And that brings us to you, what would you cut next if you were Elon Musk to make the Model 2 even more affordable? Let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching Torque Element. Subscribe now so you don't miss the next major Tesla update. It's only a couple of days away. If you are excited about Tesla EVs or even the Tesla bot, give this video a like and share it. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss our newest content. We appreciate your support and look forward to bringing you more very soon. Goodbye.